Hello, I'm Noir Nerd, and welcome to this tutorial on building a simple um, My Favorite Movies page. So today we're going to be exploring a few different um, parts of the tech stack. Those being um, obviously HTML, CSS, but also um, Bootstrap. Now Bootstrap's um, a library by was made by, uh, by Twitter, I think. But it basically comes with a lot of packaged um, classes and packaged um, components you can basically put together layouts. It's very useful for um, uh, rapid app development. So if you're making something, and also just you get a lot of the responsive uh, responsiveness out of the box. So for example, it's going to work on mobile, it's going to work on tablet, and it's going to work. On desktop, many different uh, resolutions, sort of screen size. And stuff. So that's where Bootstrap's power is very useful. Um, it's not too difficult to get the hang of. So what we're going to basically do is start off with um, defining some layout for the page, and then base probably add some basic JavaScript, maybe jQuery for some functionality. We want to add part by part. And like I said, the whole um, site will be about just showcasing my favorite films, and you can decide your own favorite films in place. Of course. Uh, some functionality that I plan to add is uh, um, video preview, of course, responsive video preview, a gallery of the different films that you can click on each one, um, and yeah, uh, we're not doing this in anything fancy like. Node or anything or uh, React, just because I want to cover the basics first. I think rather than just going into using Package Manager and Package Manager and uh, uh, yeah. So uh, we want to install Bootstrap Four framework for. Um, So I'll start off by downloading this. We can uh, use the CDN content delivery network for it, but might as well just download it so I can show you how to uh, do it proper. So I'm just creating a new folder for the project. So uh, I've got to set up a folder for this, and then all I want to do is just shift this. This is all the pre-compiled CSS, HTML, uh, CSS and JavaScript. Okay, so now we've got our JavaScript minified bootstrap and unminified and some other things here. Okay, so let's just make something happen, I guess. We're going to make, so, uh, start off with an index HTML file, which is where the front page of our site's going to be. Then I'm going to add my favourite films. So, what are my favourite films? They are Aliens. Got HTML. Uh, the Fountain. HTML. So, but I think I'll do for this project. We'll do six favorite films. So what half of them done now? Need to think of three more. There's a lot. I'm a big fan of films. So it's quite difficult. Uh, Saving Private Ryan probably. Okay, and then one more film. One for the Terminator Two, which is probably one of the best action sci-fi films I've ever made. I think. So we've got one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, so more. Can't be Star Wars, I'm not a big fan. massive fan. Oh. Stella. Space Ferry. Okay, so the f those are my favourite films. 
Now let's just start. Um, writing some HTML for the layout. So, first we're going to start off by giving a dot type of HTML, because it's going to be HTML. No one ahead, no more body, usual. That's where our content goes. We'll play now that already, hopefully. Head where we put all our meta information and dependencies like CSS and sort of thing. Uh, we'll put up there actually, and then maybe. So that's the basics. Okay, so let's start off and add our CSS references. So I've already downloaded Bootstrap and uh, JavaScript and all that. CSS. Adding it here, and the link rel style sheet tells tells the head that this is a tells the HTML that this is a style sheet type just as of type. And I want to select minified CSS. And then here is for my custom CSS because I've added already a test just to see if it's so next, I'm just copying and pasting some code in that I did before. So what is this? What's going on here? Basically, container fluid is uh, like a container class within Bootstrap for um, creating layouts. Uh, you can get, you can use container or fluid. Fluid makes it like full width. Container gives it a bit of a um, margin, like 15 pixels or something. Row is like a full width. Uh, row and then uh, column d4 is like you can break it down basically into segments it's a grid based layout so let's just see what this is. square is just a square I've put in there for testing purposes there we go the layout's not looking exactly as I planned it though I'll probably make a mistake there somewhere nope that's right so you'll see I'm going to inspect it on here fluid contains full row also just the same and then this makes it smaller, so I'd have to. It's probably because I have to. So if I. Let's just screw around a bit. But if I had like a few of these, let's see what that does. So there you go. It sort of creates the MD4. And if I make. Let's just demonstrate something else as well. So if I made this bigger, this should now move a bit to the right. Or oh, actually breaks down to the other line because it's the full width is um, 12, so it's over it. So if I wanted it to be less than that, I'd have to do, do like two. If I wanted it to still contain contained in. Oh, I'm doing that, doing that there. Like this. So there you go. The sort of. And you can see when you're looking at it, inspect it in the web developer. The difference there, you've got it's a more wider if it's six or four. Wider, more number you put here for MDs hyphen call MD hyphen six. So that's fairly simple to get your head around. That's that's most of the hard part of that. So let's we can wipe all this because we're not using any of it. It's just a test to demo. So that's the sort of the basics of how you use grid the grid layout. And it's also responsive as well, which is nice. So this is a nice thing about Bootstrap, it comes all out of the box really, more or less. So I think first off we want to create a, a navbar element. I'm just going to look it up on Bootstrap so I don't have to do it all from scratch. So I'll show it. I'm looking on, this is a very useful resource as well, Bootstrap. Get Bootstrap, which has got all the, you can see code examples. I mean, to be honest, 99% of the time when you're using these things, all you do is copy and paste them, you don't have to write them out one by, bit by bit. If anything, that's sort of pointless really, I think, because what's the point of, unless you've got some special use case, 99% of the time, if you want the same copied element, you're just going to be copying and pasting it from the documentation, basically. So that's uh, a nav bar if you want, I think. 
it's, uh, it's easy to navigate through this site, it's quite user friendly. Okay, so we have a centered nav bar there now. Um, you can change these uh, like light to dark, light into the classes you have there. See, so makes it easy to use like that. So, da, 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 and I'm going to put in here instead of nav bar, I'm going to put my favorite films. Maybe in H2, my fave films. Um, Probably not wide enough actually. I wonder if this works. How oh, this works. Yeah, it works. Good. So there we go, that's nice. I need to change the colour of that though, so I'm gonna do add some custom CSS for something for H2 so far. This is the selector for heading two. I just like to color white for now. I'll probably change the font later, but for now, I just want to get that basic layout in place. So let's do it. There you go, my favorite films. Like Chris Gobber or something, I'll put as well. Okay, so let's think about what functions are on this website. So we've got a header now. Um, so what do we want to do next? Probably create. Um, so let's go to carousel. So carousel is like a um, scrolling um, scroller, basically, like a visual scroller with. You can put images in there or other stuff. So let's create a new row first. Have this in. And let's just see what this does and add this code in block in here. There's nothing in there, that's why. We need to add something. Anything so I'll just add some test image in there. Get an image of aliens first, I think. Cool. That's a good one. Let's grab that. There we go. We've got an image in there now. Already. That looks pretty cool. I think I need to put it in a container. As you can quickly see the power of Bootstrap, you can just sort of put things together very fast. You've got all these pre-made components you can copy and paste in. It's, it's nice and sort of useful in that respect. What we want to use next is like uh, uh, so this might work for it. So the uh, this base media object. I mean, if you saw my last tutorial, it's basically creating a list, but then it's got some additional classes. So I'll just create the find out more about my favorite what films. Pictures. 
Yeah, the aliens, I think. It's JPEG suits. Change the size of that. Oh my god, it actually doesn't. What? Why does that do that? It should modify the style. Second. Be a class of. Image fluid, I think. And I think, okay, so we've got that now on there, so it's sort of looking a bit more like a website, I guess. <laughs> uh, let's add, just have this as a holder for now on all the other ones. So we've got that. Just all the same image at the minute, but let's just start on modifying some of this. So I'm adding in the title of the film there, and then. So I want six of these, so let's do this bit first. Come on in, this is boring. Um, let's do three for now. That changes all that. So I think I want a big, large image at the top. So I'm going to do this here. Instead of that, I'll make it fluid. I think, instead of that, not width. I should make it fully, there we go. And I'll change that image to something else. So basically, the it's going to 100% of the, the um, of whatever it's in, which is it's in a container fluid of. Okay, so I just realized something very annoying while I was saying that. Basically, was, uh, my screen output was a bit zoomed in, so I've done all that work for ages, and I've done all that work for a while, and uh, it was recording at the wrong size. This is how it actually looks. It wasn't like, it was zoomed in before. I mean, hopefully it shouldn't affect any, too much of the code, and it was an important part, but there, there you go. Anyway, almost, so yeah, so we've, we've got this image fluid can class which creates this uh, image to be 100% of the container div, which is uh, just a container instead of a container fluid. So remember, container fluid doesn't have margins and container does. So that was pretty cool. And now we've got sort of. Films I love by Chris Godwin. So it's that. Oh, yeah, it's because I've added a style in there for it. Uh, H1, I should do. So there we go. We can also add a background color. So if I go, pretty sure this will work. Body, let's just select the body and then background. And we can put black. There we go. Just have to create a color on this now. So to do that. Just override this. I think. Okay, that's that bit done. Let's 
the middle class can add on so it doesn't affect all the containers. Because if I override that container style and add this in the custom, it will change all containers to background white, which I don't want to do, so I'll just add it as another class on there, on that container, which will make sense in a second. So that, let's have a look. So we've got container here and I'll just have background white, which is another class that I've created in custom. So you can do that sometimes. There you go. And then it creates the white background. So now that's starting to look like a website. Um, I'm just going to create, I could even create a carousel there, I suppose, just for a bit. So I might create that as a carousel. Let me just get some images. Let's try it again. Again, add them, it's adding in the links to the JPEGs. Let's just check that they're working first. Yeah, there's one. Why is the slider not working? What the fuck? Why? Oh, that'll be why. So, I forgot to. It's just getting a bit confused then, because I hadn't imported in the JavaScript with the carousel depends on so let's just do that now let's try out. it's an easy mistake to make but yeah remember to do that if you've got any dependencies for javascript i'll install the minified version that should work now Okay, so this is a good learning exercise. So basically, I it had a dependency. I think the Bootstrap. Oh, I'll change about to the Bootstrap. Uh, had a needed jQuery to be in there. I should have known that, but I just forgot. But it's added in there now, so the scroller's working. So now we have a nice little scroller. Look at that. Ooh, no image in the last one, but we'll change that in a second. So I guess you want to modify this to say like the film titles. So if I go aliens first, Terminator 2, just modify these. And the fountain, so turn it that now. And it's fairly intuitive how you edit this thing. So basically, Carousel item, that is where all the actual content goes in for the for this scroller. So this goes there. So let's add a few more because it's not just this. This is useful to know as well. So if you want to know what each of these divs is actually finishing off, it's this one. So I want to go here. As you can see there, it says div carousel item, so it's closing this div off. I think it's here actually. Yeah, no, it's here, but let's just check that works. Yeah, it's got turn it two twice and that. So I want to add uh, what I feel is Interstellar. Uh, I've got an image for that already in there somewhere. Stellar, uh, not HTML. Oh, saving private run I need. Picture. And then finally, I need to add pi to the last film. So this is just. Yeah, just going over this and changing the things, really. Copying and pasting. Also, I need to do shift and tab to get this to go back to being semi readable. Get that back there, no. There we go. Pi. And then... Same problem. 
I mean, really with bootstrap it does become more it becomes a lot more easier once you get used to how it works and all these different I mean it, may, it does make life quite easy it can be fiddly sometimes with some of the things and just, you just usually have to look at the documentation to figure it out really okay so we've got a saving program around and then our pine faith and chaos Interstellar. I might make this just a one page site actually because you've got the image there. I don't know if there's any point really anymore of doing a, a separate page. I, mean, I might just have a. Yeah, I want to do that actually. So I can just make this a lot easier to understand. Terminator 2. So now most editing HTML, really. So. Okay, so these are all images that will be in there now. Yeah, you got just need to change some of the titles and save them for a while. I'll put the synopsis for each one of these in, and then I'm basically going to call it done because it's a basic. Overview of it. Uh, I'm just gonna grab the IMDb. Go on IMDb and get the descriptions up there. And then I'll create. We'll create a clickable link for watching the trailer or something. I guess. Uh, yeah. and easy. Judgment Day. Hasta la vista, baby. Yeah, so that is that. I just want to add a button now for watching each trailer. So I'll add them here. Um, we can look at that basic button and then create a link. For them. It's just HTML really, but it's so. It's... So yeah, and then we've got a little page about some films here. They're like, which doesn't take, haven't taken too long to make. It looks okay. Might be a more elegant way to do this, but I'll just, uh, just create a new row for it and just break it down. Rather than, I don't like doing like things like adding a break there. I know you can do it, but it's silly. So you just go to that. Okay, so you want to link that to the trailer now, let's find that, I'll change this to say watch trailer. So what this button, it's, a, it's how you create buttons, the clickable and bootstrap. This defines the class of it, so it's the button primary, it's just going to sort of styling with the CSS and then you have the, the link here which we'll just get now. So 
sure to put that in there as a link to the YouTube trailer. There you go, takes directly to the trailer. Commit that double uppercase again, or we'll copy it across the other ones and add theirs, and then basically, we're done. And you should have learned a little bit about layout in in uh, Bootstrap, which is good. Okay, so I think that's enough for a basic overview of what you can do in Bootstrap. Uh, let's just check it for responsiveness to, not done any of that testing yet. Looks okay, that's on an iPad. Uh, it's on the vertical view on an iPad, so that's quite good. What about a phone? iPhone, mm, it's all right, not too bad. A bit squished, but it's pretty responsive. And yeah, I guess that's it. Um, I'll add some maybe I'll go over adding a custom font style. I just want to change the font style. So to do that, I'm going to go onto Google Fonts and just find something I like. So maybe so for the headers and stuff, the headings. Sorry. Uh, that's quite nice, Anton. I'm going to go for that one. So, if you want to go onto Google uh, fonts, google.com, then you can do it. I just usually do CSS, import in this font. Uh, so, I'll do that on my custom font that we created earlier. I can delete that now. Import and then. Anton. Anton. That's pretty cool. I always need to do it on this one as well then. Choose each one. It completely shows you how to change your font to something custom and sort of interesting rather than the default one. I'm just going to add styling for this one too, H5, right? So it's just H5. So H5 on there. And there we go. There's bits of content I'd add there, I like to add on, but I'm not bother, there's no point really. Uh, Okay, that's a basic. Uh, maybe I'm gonna send. So yeah, we've gone over basic layout, adding a carousel, adding a media list, and a few other things as to how to create a basic sort of site showcasing something. In this case, films and styling it a bit as well to make it look at least presentable so i hope that's been useful um i've had a few technical issues during parts of the creation of this so hopefully it's not been uh, too difficult to understand i hope you uh, found it at least useful getting an overview into bootstraps uh how you lay out a bootstrap how you add some basic uh, components uh and i hope it's been useful really honestly um it's obviously only a mini project, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. And subscribe if you like this content. I'm trying to improve all the time, trying to do better, trying to add more as I go along. Uh, yeah, thanks.